Good evening, Mission Control. Uh, Real Martian here. Hope you're all having a, a good week so far. So tonight I kind of wanted to talk about setting up my workspace uh, to do this circuit board build uh, that I've been working on. So a lot of you uh, reached out to me. You told me that all the wires and everything I showed you uh, were just a horrible mess and I couldn't agree more and that I should build a circuit board. So we're actually going to go on and we're going to build a circuit board. But first, I'm going to take my office from its previous mess state to a much better state. So let's uh, wind back the clock here a little bit and show you what my office used to look like, which really is going to turn into a laboratory, the Martian Laboratory. It's going to be fantastic. Here we go. Uh, it's my office. I love whiteboards, so we have lots of whiteboards in here. Two whiteboards, actually. And... Uh, a bookshelf, and what I'm going to do is uh, this used to be sitting way over there uh, in that white spot, um, and we had more stuff just kind of this office essentially has turned into a dumping ground. So, we're going to fix that tonight. And what I want is I want this to end up being my charging station for the drone, for the cameras, and everything for the YouTube work that we do. Uh, so, we're going to get that all put together. And then we actually bought a, a nice little set of black. Uh, black steel shelving here to uh, put all of our goodies on it uh, that we use out in the habitat for growing aquaponics and I'm going to be putting my electronics and everything. We'll put that all up on there. So that's going to help us with a lot more organization. And then you can see right here there's something that we're going to be building tonight. I'm going to put an L-shaped workstation in there uh, to help with electronic builds because I've been using my computer desk which is right here. And you can see I've got electronics, I've got stuff right here. Hey, look at that. That's a nice little schematic right there that I built. That's very exciting. I got my soldering iron right in front of my computer next to my headphones covered with a bunch of wires, uh, all with the mic and then the server over there, the printer back there, another computer. Oh my goodness. There's just too much stuff everywhere. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I finally talked to Mrs. Martian and I said, I've had enough. Um, I come in here and it's just a headache to even be in here. So we're going to clean some of this up tonight. Now remember, I'm not an electrical engineer and I'm putting this all together just because I need it. Uh, everything that you see here is out of necessity, not necessarily just because I thought it would be really cool to get. So uh, if you're setting up your lab, and you want to learn from some of my mistakes. And for those of you out there that have your own lab and uh, you, you've got some great ideas, why don't you share them on here so people who read, uh, you know, they can see what I'm saying, but they can also see what those of you with a lot more experience than I uh, say as far as setting up a lab. And I'm sure I made some mistakes or could have done something better. So let me show you what I got. So I got a power brick here that I'm going to be installing underneath the desk. It doesn't have a got to it yet. So I can plug in everything, have plenty of power protection, lots of storage space. So you got lots of little components here that you need to have a home. Otherwise, they end up getting all over the place. Basically, they end up looking like that pile of mess right there. That's all the stuff I need to turn into sensors this weekend. That's why we built this whole work area. I've got an ESD pad here um, so we can protect from electronic, electrical static discharge. Uh, so I've got my mat set up here. I've got a circuit board holder. This is pretty nice. It rotates around. Uh, everything looks really good there. Um, some small, small wire, about 30 AWG wire to help uh, actually wire up circuit board and such. Got my soldering station that has a hot air gun. Uh, and I've got, I actually really, really like the fact that I can control the hot air temperature as well as control the temperature of the soldering iron. Soldering tip cleaner, some flux, and I've got my ESD connector, which should really be connected here. Let's get that right there. Okay. Helping hands, very, very helpful. Volt and ohm amp meter there. Uh, drill press for me is important for right now. That's eventually going to get removed and sent back out to the shop. But for right now, I actually use it quite a bit, so I moved it up here. Got more storage. Lots of wire, different size wire. More storage down here. Got my hand tools in there. All the electronic tools are in there. So, <clears throat> not a huge setup by any stretch of the imagination. I've seen stuff on YouTube that makes me just 
salivate at the mouth if I could only have a lab like what some of you guys have out there. You definitely make me jealous. So um, anyway, this right here is good enough for me to get the work done so, that I need. There it is. Uh, we went from a mess to less than a mess so that I can probably turn it into a mess again. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. There's some things I'd like to change. I'd like to raise up the desk a little bit higher. Uh, probably do that maybe this weekend as well. But uh, speaking of this weekend, so I said earlier, we're going to start a new series. Uh, I'm actually going to be building my first circuit board. So I need to get this all done and uh, put everything in place so I can actually do it and have some space to actually work that's somewhat clean. So we got that done. So I hope you tune in. Probably be a multi-part uh, series as I go through the learning process. I've never built one before. So it'll be exciting to go from an idea uh, where we laid it out on a schematic and then did layout in the computer and turned into reality. So I'm excited for that. I hope you join us. In the meantime, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell to the left of the subscribe button, you'll get notified when we post new videos. In the meantime, everyone, have a great evening. This is The Real Martian, out.